Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson, and this training bite shows you how to use the UVM Memory Access Manager to manage dynamically allocated memory regions. Firstly, let's quickly review UVM memories. Memories are declared as instances of UVM mem. Each memory location has the same width, and a range argument defines the size. Access policies are read write, read only, or write only. Each memory has its own address block which defines the base address of the memory. Location access is via an offset from this base. Remember memories are not mirrored in the register model, therefore the only access methods are read, write, peek and poke, although we also have multi-location access through burst write and burst read. Again, the methods access locations via an offset from the memory base address and the model automatically calculates the absolute address. Now, some designs use temporary areas of memory for data storage or buffering. UVM calls these regions. Typically, access is dynamic. A, requ a design requests a region of a given size. If enough free memory is available, the request is granted and the design given unique access to a region starting at a set or a random address. The region is treated as a standalone memory for the duration of use. When the design has finished with the region, it can be released to free up space. There may be multiple concurrent requests for memory regions of different sizes which need to be arbitrated and allocated. In addition, certain areas of memory may be off-limits to regions, or need to be permanently reserved at specific addresses for other functionality. An ex example application could be DMA transfers, where temporary memory regions are used as data buffers. Manual handling of region management can be difficult. Regions must be allocated within the memory space, avoiding overflow or overlap with existing regions or reserved address spaces. Once allocated, access to the region locations must be calculated as offsets to the starting point of the region. Then, when the region is no longer required, the address space must be released back into the pool of free memory. UVM has a built-in Memory Access Manager MAM, to handle this. A base class, UVM Mem MAM, defines methods for requesting, reserving and releasing regions, as well as introspection methods to interrogate regions. All UVM memories have the MAM built-in, in that every instance of UVM Mem contains a property MAM, which is an instance of the UVM Mem MAM. Here are the MAM methods to request, reserve and release regions. These descriptions are simplified by omitting arguments with default values. See the UVM documentation for full details. Request region requests a region of specific size which will be allocated at a random address offset. Reserve region requests a region of specific size from a specific address offset. Both methods specify their region size in bytes, regardless of the memory width. Each reserve or request execution generates a report of the Bossity UVM medium, which specifies the start and end addresses of the region. Release region releases a specific requested or reserved region. Release all regions releases all regions, reserved and requested, and so should be used with care. Memory which is off limits to allocation will need to be reserved again after release all regions. Here is how we call the methods. We declare region handles of type UVM mem region. We need a handle on the register model memory. Then we call the method from the MAM property of the memory handle and assign the result to a region handle. First example here reserves 64 bytes from memory offset 0 for handle reserved. Second example requests 64 bytes at a random address offset for buffer 1. 
If a request or reserve fails, then the methods return null, and we can check for this. Final example requests 128 bytes for buffer 2. Remember the methods must be called off the MAM property, which is built into every memory. What happens if a reserve or request fails due to, for example, insufficient free memory? After the allocation attempt report, we get a standard randomization failure message as the MAM fails to find address space. Then we get an unable to randomize policy message, which is a little obscure, and the method returns null to the region handle. A reserve call returns errors if the offset and size result in a memory overflow or overlap with existing reserved or requested regions. Once a region has been successfully allocated, it is treated as a standalone memory accessed via the region handle using all UVM memory access methods. The access method the offset arguments are relative to the region space. The register model calculates the absolute physical address by adding the memory base address, the region offset, and the method offset. If the method offset is greater than the region size, then an error message is issued and the access is suppressed. Although the MAM gives easy access to memory regions, management of the memory is your responsibility. Regions should be released when no longer used to free up space for future requests. Also, a region must be released before the region handle is reused in a subsequent request or reserve, otherwise the new request will overwrite the region handle you lose the reference to the previous region, and the previous region cannot be released. If you keep requesting without releasing, eventually you will run out of memory. Another issue is that releasing a region does not change the region handle. Therefore, reads and writes can still be executed on the region even though the memory has been deallocated. Worst case, the memory may be reallocated to a request from another handle and you now have two handles to the same area of memory. A good tip is to explicitly assign a region handle to null if it has been released and you are not immediately using that handle for another request or reserve. Here are the introspection methods for region handles. These allow you to extract region information from a handle. You can get the start and end offset addresses for the region, the number of memory locations and the region size in bytes. Finally, you can get a handle on the underlying memory. Now, a design may wish to allocate regions over multiple memories. However, the request, reserve and release methods are executed from the MAM property of a single memory. A workaround is to declare a new memory which overlies the multiple memories to be managed. If the address space, space of the multiple memories is not contiguous, then the gaps can be defined as reserved regions of the overlying memory. The user can then request reserve and release regions of the overlying memory itself. The overlay memory should be simple enough to be declared manually and need not be part of the generated register model. So that was the UVM Memory Access Manager. I hope you found it useful.